Hi friends, happy Monday. I have our read aloud for us today and it's a fancy Nancy story. I don't know if you've ever heard these before, but I like them because they use some really, oh, I just hit the screen. They use some really big words and then she always explains what those words mean. So this one is Fancy Nancy and the Delectable Cupcakes. Have you ever heard the word delectable before? It's right here, delectable. That's a word that means really, really yummy. Of course, cupcakes, yeah. really yummy. So the author is Jane O'Connor and the pictures are by Robin Glasser. I have the laptop sitting on my lap today, so hopefully I won't bounce it all around. Hazel, come here, come sit with me. Hazel's bothering everyone. Wants to do videos, say morning, friends. Morning, here they go, say hi. Nope, she wants to chew my hand. Puppies. All right. I adore school. Adore means really, really like something. But today I can't wait to go home. I am going to bake cupcakes, fancy cupcakes. So if you've never heard Fancy Nancy before, she tries to be super fancy with her words and she tries to even dress really, really fancy. So she wears lots of very elaborate clothing and hair bows. She thinks she's and so fancy. She thinks she's so fancy. But she's very nice. I enjoy her. Well, Nancy, like did you hear what I just said, Mrs. Glass asks? I shake my head. I will repeat it, said Mrs. Glass. Repeat is fancy for saying something again. There is no recess tomorrow because of the bake sale. The bake sale is going to raise money for our library books. So it sounds like maybe Nancy isn't always paying attention at school. The teacher has to repeat herself sometimes. Before I leave, I go over to Mrs. Glass. I'm sorry, I wasn't being a good listener. Mrs. Glass smiles. I know you are trying to improve. Improve is fancy for getting better at something. I hug Mrs. Glass. I adore her. Really, I do. On the way home, Bree says she is making brownies for the bake sale. Robert is making a red velvet cake. It's not really made with red velvet. That's just, a, that is a fancy kind of cloth but inside it's all red. I will definitely buy a piece of that, I tell him. Friends, do you know what a bake sale is? If you don't, it's when people are trying to raise money for something, so they bake lots and lots of treats, and then you can buy them if you want to, or um, you can just bake them so that you can raise money for something. Actually, I think Palmer did it around Christmas time this year. If you went to school for the cookies and the claws, I think people baked treats and you could buy the treats. I think that happened this year. I don't think that was canceled for a snow day or anything. At the market, my mom buys eggs and milk and flour and sugar and butter. Don't forget sprinkles and candy, I tell her. It's lucky I'm here or else we would end up with just plain old cupcakes. She wants fancy cupcakes. Do you like plain old cupcakes or fancy cupcakes? I'm, I'm a pretty plain Jane kind of person, but I know some people like sprinkles or little things on top of their frosting. I'm okay with just the frosting. I want to start baking right away. I listen carefully to my mother. Mrs. Glass would be very proud. I put all the right stuff in the batter and I pour the batter into the cupcake pan. My sister is not such a good listener. Mom tells her three times to keep her fingers out of the batter. Does that sound like any of you guys at home putting yes. your fingers in the batter? I have a special friend in the background that just said, yes. Sometimes it's hard not to sneak a taste. Does it seem like a lot of hard work to get ready for this bake sale? I think so. The cupcakes come out of the oven. Ooh la la, what a lovely aroma. Aroma is fancy for smell. When they cool off, we put the frosting and the sprinkles and candy on them. I want to show Mrs. Divine my cupcakes. My mom says, come back soon and be sure to leave the cupcakes 
where Frenchie can't get them. I am already out the door. What do you think Frenchie is? Put the cupcakes where Frenchie can't get them. If you look down here in the corner of the page, I have Hazel on my hand right now. Right down, yes, you're Frenchie, always eating things. Yeah, so Frenchie's the dog, I think. It's kind of what it sounds like. Mrs. Divine buys a cupcake. She says it's delectable. That's fancy for yummy. I come home and call Brie. We make a deal. I will buy two of her brownies and she will buy two of my cupcakes. I hope I sell all of them. What do you think Mrs. Divine is in this picture right here where I'm wiggling my thumb? So she walked over to bring her some cupcakes. Maybe she's the neighbor? Maybe someone who lives nearby? A minute later, I hang up the phone. And then I see Frenchie's face. Frosting is all over her mouth. Oh no, what do you think happened? Frenchie is frosting all over her mouth. Do you think she ate the cupcakes? Do you think she ate all of them? Oh no, what would happen if she ate all the cupcakes for the bake sale? What do you think would happen? You think maybe Nancy would have to make them all over again? Or do you think her parents would say, I'm sorry, we can't go back to the store and get more ingredients? Let's find out. Oh, Hazel, if you ate all those cupcakes, oh boy, you'd be in big trouble. Oh no, the cupcakes are a mess. Here, I'll let you see and then I'll read the other page. Oh, and here's what mom says. Nancy, didn't you listen? My mom asks. I said to leave them in a safe place. Uh-oh. Sometimes we hear our parents tell us something and we don't really do it right away. And then sometimes a problem or an accident can happen. It's all my fault. I wasn't listening, I tell my mom. Just then my dad comes home and I tell him what happened. Now I don't have cupcakes for the bake sale, says Nancy. Let's move my screen for just a minute. Thanks friends, sorry. Technical difficulties today. Cupcakes, my dad says. You baked the cupcakes already? Then he holds out a big bag. In it is all the stuff for the cupcakes. I told you I would buy everything, both of my parents say at the same time. And then they start laughing. And I laugh too. Nobody in my family is a good listener. Ha, huh. so mom said she would buy the ingredients. Dad said he would buy the ingredients. And guess what? Nobody listened to each other and they both bought the ingredients. But I think in this case, it actually was helpful that nobody was listening because now the dad has the ingredients so they can bake again. Oh, but good thing. Good thing they weren't being good listeners. After dinner, we bake cupcakes all over again. I am exhausted. That's fancy for very tired. My dad says, Nancy, please get ready for bed. And guess what? For once, he doesn't have to repeat himself. So did she listen right away? Yes. She did, if dad didn't have to repeat himself. Oh, that's so nice for parents when children listen. We love that. The bake sale was a big success. All the cupcakes are gone. Oh, I say to my mom, I didn't even get to taste one. Look, says my mom, she saved one for me. And I taste it. Totally delectable. Wow, look at all those treats. Look at all the people's faces. Do they look happy to be enjoying the bake sale or do they look like mm, they're not really enjoying all the lovely food? Boy, they look pretty happy. I see lots of smiles. This lady right here with the glasses is 
smiling as she takes a little bite. Oh, yeah. This lady in the background here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to hold my computer up and keep the dog away from jumping at the book. <laughs> this lady right here is looking at the lollipop, it looks like, and she's looking at it like she's really happy and she's saying, wow, I bet somebody would enjoy that lollipop, huh? So people's faces, the characters' faces can really tell you a little bit about how they're feeling and what's going on in the story. Oh, and then at the end, this last page always says, Nancy's, fancy Nancy's, fancy words. So adore means to really, really like something. Aroma is a smell. Delectable, delectable means yummy. Exhausted means very tired. Improve is to get better at something. Repeat is to say something again. And velvet is a very fancy kind of cloth. That's when they talked about the red velvet cake and they said that it's not really cloth. It just is called that because it looks red and very soft and yummy. I make red velvet cake. I love red velvet cake. All right, my friends, I hope you had a great, or you have a great Monday and I will see you back again tomorrow. Bye, stay warm.